A baby born into an extremely rich family became penniless overnight, but... Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to the Blessed Mother. Glad to see you all. Let us start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, who is truly alive and with us, please truly come to us who are unready and set the fire of love and perform the miracles of love in us. Lord, for whom nothing is impossible, please open our hearts wide. So that we may empty our hearts and welcome you in our hearts, please personally guide, arrange, and lead everything for us, Lord. By doing so, so that only your will may be realized, perform the miracles of love to all of us. From now until we finish, Lord and Blessed Mother, please solely guide, arrange, and lead everything so that we may fulfill your will. Help all of us arm ourselves with the five spiritualities so that we may enjoy the eternal happiness in heaven escorted by angels on the last day. I pray earnestly in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ through the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Mother, hoping that all of us may resurrect anew. We aren't sure when and what will happen to us. No one knows what will happen to us today or tomorrow or in 10 years. I was born into an extremely rich family, but I had lost all my family during the Korean War. My mother left me and my younger sister alone at home and went out to find her husband and her father-in-law. I, the elder, could survive hunger, but my younger sister died. Our family had a lot of money, but we couldn't exchange our old currency for the new ones. After hearing that we would get into a lot of trouble if we were caught possessing unchanged old currency, my mother buried them inside a heap of manure at her eldest brother's house and stashed some beneath the roof of her second eldest brother's four-bedroom spacious house. Actually, she didn't have to do that, but she was not aware of it and wasted all of them. I was four years old then, and I remember it vividly. We became penniless overnight. Since then, I had done a lot of work and suffered hardships. I was entrusted to the second eldest uncle's house and my mother went peddling. My maternal cousin used to assault me, so seeing this, my mother ran in a room for me to live while she was peddling. It was when I was five years old. How can a five-year-old child make a fire in the furnace to cook for herself? 
Now, what convenient living facilities we have, this generation might not know it. How could a child left alone at home eat properly? So I often skip meals. When I would sleep at night, lots of rats came into the room. Even if I wrapped myself with a blanket, the mice would break in it and bite me. In the daytime, roosters would peck at me. While I was living in a rented room, there were only two houses located in the upper direction. One person lived in one house each. The one where I lived was a newlywed's house. The husband went to the army and the wife lived alone. And another person lived alone in the above house, but it was almost empty. I didn't know that when we run away from a chasing rooster, it would peck us. I heard later that they don't peck if we remain still, but as I ran away, they just pecked at me. As a result, there were scars from their pecking at me here and there. In the evening, rats broke into my bedding and bit me, so I got scars. I, a child, was sad, but hid my tears practicing semchigo as if my mother was next to me. My mother, who used to be rich, suddenly lost all her family and became penniless. So she even put me into the spring, saying, Let's die together, out of desperation. But I really didn't want to die. I followed her whenever she asked me to die together, but when she put me into the spring, I cried out, I want to leave, I want to. My mother was worried if I would survive and be left alone when we fall into water together. So she tried to drown me first and then herself later. But hearing my cry to leave, she didn't dare to drown me. She even suggested to me, let's jump down together from the high mountain. I followed her, but at the brink of death, I wanted to survive. It was not my own wish, but the Lord must have saved me to use me as His instrument. In my early years, my family lived a big house in Gwangju. When my grandfather was fleeing from Gwangju during the Korean War, he put a folded cotton blanket on an A-frame carrier on his back, put me on top of it, and walked all the way. <laughs> My grandfather sent my mother, who had just given a birth to a baby, to her mother's family. He thought they would take care of her well, but her eldest brother's family didn't even accept her. My goodness, when my mother was walking while carrying my younger sister on her back, she had to empty repeatedly her shoes for the heavy blood flow, for she couldn't get any postnatal care. 
But she was rejected at the door of her maternal family. She even collapsed on the way to her second eldest brother's house. She narrowly regained her consciousness. Much later, my father came to join us with a big bag of money on his back. There are about 100 houses in the village of my mother's family, and my mother's family was the richest among them. Only my two uncles' families had tiled roof houses, while all others' houses were thatched ones. The elder uncle's house had 사랑채, a separate reception room, made as a room which had a sliding door in the middle of the room to divide and use it as two rooms. The reception rooms were rarely divided in those days. They gave us the reception room which was divided when my father paid much for. Since we didn't have any rice, we paid a lot of money to the maternal family for our meals. Later we lost all our money due to currency reform. They stopped giving us meals anymore. So my mother earned a lot of money through peddling by making use of the bedding she brought. Back then, my hometown was full of rebels. So people in my hometown ran away from being deprived of all they had, clothes, etc. When the rebels withdrew, there were no clothes. My mother sold silk cloth when people had no clothes available for sale. So her business went so well, she made a lot of money through this. But her second eldest brother used up all the money and didn't return it. If he returned it, my mother would have supported me well for education, but as it didn't, we lived with such difficulties. I see now that I have lived practicing Semchigo since I was young under those trials. I worked with Semchigo as if I was loved, even under the harsh abuse by my uncle's family. You should feel you are blessed. People who didn't suffer that much have no idea. I guess some of you here who are of my age might have suffered. You know we had several children in those days, a whole family sharing a single blanket. My uncle had seven family members, he, his wife, and five children. I couldn't join them in using it together. I barely slept under their feet. When I felt cold and put my foot at the edge of the blanket, I was kicked out of it. If I happened to get in again, my stomach was kicked off. That's how I slept in a frosty night without a blanket with semchigo as if I covered myself with a blanket. My mother didn't know that. The Lord said to me, make your life known to others. 
That's why I'm sharing these. 이런 회장님에 대해서도 절대 말안 했어요. 어떤 상황이 왔어도 우리 가정 이야기도 안 했고 시집에 가서 살았던 이야기도 안 했는데. I have never talked about my husband's life to anybody. No matter what, I've never told anyone about what went on in my family or my in-laws' house. 제가 그렇게 어렵게 지내면서도 모든 것을 셈치고 살면서 저는 한 번도 농땡이 펴본 적이 없어요. Although my life's been hard, I've lived in Semchigo in everything, and I've never been lazy or idle. 지금은 제가 고통 중에 일을 못해요. 시집 막 가서부터는 시어머니께서 요구하시니까. Now I cannot do laborious work while offering up my suffering. When I had just gotten married, my mother-in-law asked me for money. 제가 하는 명실 없어서 셈치고 명실까지 받아서 시어머니께 다 드리고. 그러면서도 그 모든 것을 셈치고 봉헌했기 때문에 정말 하나도 아깝지 않았습니다. And I gave her all what she asked, even by selling my beauty parlor with Semchigo as if I had never owned it. Nevertheless, because I had offered it up with Semchigo, I had no regret at all. 결혼 막 하자마자 결혼비서 갚아 들어가시니까 하던 명실을 금액도 시어머니 드렸고. As soon as I got married, my mother-in-law said. Pay off my debt for your wedding. So I hurriedly sold my beauty parlor at the bargain price to pay off her debt. 제가 혼수를 해가 제 물건들도 큰 며느리니까 안 준다고 하나도 안 주셔서. And my mother-in-law didn't give me any wedding items, saying, "You are the eldest, so I cannot give them to you." 그것까지도 뭐 전부 없어서 생치고 봉헌하고 살았어요. 한 번도 왜 시어머니 저러실까 해본 적이 없어요. I have even offered them up with Semchigo as if I had never owned them. I had never wondered why does she treat me like this. 그런 것들이 바로 예비하심이었지만 주님께서 여러분을 사용하고 싶으실 때 여러분에게도 어떻게 하는가 시험하실 수도 있습니다. All these were the life prepared by the Lord. So when the Lord wants to use you as His instrument, He may put you to the test to see how you will react. 제가 팔남매 만면으로 시발 가가지고 어, 그 뒤치다들을 다 했기 때문에 결혼해서도 그렇게 힘들고 어, 시어머니 계속 대들라고 병원도 못 가고. Since I married the oldest son of eight siblings and had to take care of everything in his family, my marriage life was hard, and I continued financially supporting my mother-in-law, so I couldn't even go to the hospital. 우리 아이들 과일 한 번도 제대로 사준 적이 없고 우리 아이들한테 정말 미안해요. I couldn't even afford to buy proper fruits for my own children. I feel so sorry for them. 상처나고 몇 사면서도 싱싱한 과일 산샘치고 몇 깎아내면서 우리 나쁜 거다 깎아내주시라고. While buying some damaged fruits with simchigo as if they are fresh ones, I would pray like this: Remove all the bad things in us and cut out the spoiled parts. 정말 싱싱한 과일을 아이들에게 먹인 심취하니까. 그렇게 기쁘게 봉헌할 수가 있었습니다. And with Semchigo, as if I fed my children fresh fruits, I could offer it up so joyfully. 여러분들, 오늘 영상 우리가 조금만 나를 내놓으면 다 절대 될수 있어요. Dear ones, if we try a little bit to lay down ourselves, we can practice the five spiritualities well. 제가 그렇게 맨 처음에 Semchigo의 삶으로. That was how I lived my life with Semchigo from the beginning. 애가 집에서 어렸을 때부터 일할 때 모든 걸 Semchigo니까 기뻐요. Working in my uncle's house during my childhood, I did everything with Semchigo, so I was joyful. 새끼를 보는데 제 손은 안 보여요. 우리 애사촌들은 저만큼 있으면 저는 이렇게 많이 보여요. I was so fast in twisting the ropes that others couldn't even see my hands. While my cousins did only very little, I produced a lot of ropes. I just did my best. 여러분 오늘 최선을 다해야 돼. 모든 거 최선을 다해야 되고 잘해도 최선을 다해. 그래서 많이 하는 것이 중요한 것이 아니라. After all, we should do our best regardless we do well or not in something. So the point does not depend on how much we've done it, but on doing our best for that. Amen. 새끼 가면서도 우리 사촌들도 다 까줘야 돼. 그게 기뻐요. 
내가 그래도 잘할수 있다는 거 그것이 기쁩니다. I had to do all of my cousin's share in twisting the ropes, but I was joyful. I rejoiced for I could do something well. <웃음> 그래서 내가 어, 내 목적을 다 해놓고 아, 난 이만큼 했는데 왜 저거밖에 못하지? 그게 아닙니다. 사람은 다 성향이 다르고 사람이 다 달라요. Everyone has different dispositions and characters. Even after finishing our share, we should not think, Oh, I've done this much, but why did they do only that little? 자, 여러분, 옆에 사람들 한 번씩 봐보세요. 여기 네, 머리는 하나입니다. 눈두 개예요. 코 하나예요. Now, dear ones, look at the ones around you. We have one head, two eyes, and one nose. 코 구멍이 두 개예요. 코 구멍이 하나만 장애자예요. Each one of us has two nostrils. Someone with only one nostril is handicapped. 귀도 두 개예요. 입은 한 개죠. 입이 두 개면 또 장애자죠. We have two ears with one mouth. Having two mouths are also abnormal. 이거는 다 똑같아요. 손도 둘. 손가락은 열 개. The body structure is the same for everyone. Two hands and ten fingers. 손이 하나 있으면 장애자죠. 발도 두 개. 음, if we have only one hand, we are disabled. We have two feet. We all have the same structures. 그러나 생긴 것은 다 틀리잖아요. 일란성 쌍눈이 아니면 다 틀립니다. 이렇게 얼굴이 각자 각자 다 틀리듯이 우리의 생각도 틀리고 하는 것도 다 틀려요. But we all look different unless we are identical twins. Likewise, we have different ideas and we do things differently. 내가 일을 좀 잘한다 해서 저 사람 왜 저렇게 못해? 정말 짜증나네. 이러면 절대 본문이 아닙니다. Even though we are good at working, if we think, why can't that person do like that? So frustrating. It can never be an act of offering up. 그래, 난 이렇게 잘하지만 저렇게 못하니까 얼마나 답답할까? 아, 불쌍하다. 한스럽다. 그러면 내가 해줄 수 있는 거예요. Instead, if we think, Okay, I can do this well, but how frustrated that person must be because of his incapacity. Oh, how pitiable. I feel so sorry for him. Then we can help him work. 그렇게 생각하지 않고 판단하고, 정말 무시하고, 그러니까 정량할 수가 없는 거예요. But on the contrary, if we judge and ignore the others, we can't grow spiritually. 근데 여러분 다잘 아시죠? 아멘! 지금부터 But you who are here practice offering up well, right? Even if you couldn't do so well, let's make a new start from now. I took care of my mother-in-law's mother of 96 years old. Even though I had cancer myself, she had lived at my in-laws' house since she was 90 years old. While I was at my in-laws' house, I had become the grandmother's friend. My in-laws had so many family members. Not only their immediate family members, but also my mother-in-law's two nephews, even her brother's friend's son lived together with them during their high school and university years. I packed their lunch boxes and even did all the laundry for them. At that time, we had to draw water from the village's public well with a bucket. I had to carry tens of buckets for the whole family's use. They used the water up fast, and so the water ran out. Now we have tap water. But it was a laborious task just to come and go to fetch the water. Fifteen family members in total. So 
치료를 받으셨습니다. My father-in-law had a stroke and became totally paralyzed. I kept taking care of him with love while practicing s e m c h i g o as if I was being loved by him. Finally, he was completely healed. 지금은 얼마나 좋은 세상이에요. 그때는 약도 한약방에서 지어다가 한참 한참 하루에다 부채질해서 다 데려드리고 또 진단까지 해드리고 What a convenient life it is now. At that time, we got medicine from an oriental herbal medicine shop and boiled a dose on a fireplace fanning by hand. Then I did the second decoction as well. I had to take care of my children and had to work having my baby on my back. But I was never upset for such tasks. I could do all because I worked with Sam Chigo. I tell you this to ask you to really practice offering up, not complaining about trivial things, nor be distracted by them. You can do everything given to you if you try and give your best to do it. 저는 어렸을 때는 그렇게 부자집도 태어났지만 힘들게 살았잖아요. 근데 우리 시아버님은 일본 아세다 대학교까지 나오셔가지고 I was born in a rich family, but I lived a hard life during the Korean War. My father-in-law graduated from Waseda University in Japan. 우리 일료 씨도 동경에서 났어요. 그런 집에서 나를 며느를 맞았으니 얼마나 못나게 보였겠어요. Consequently, my husband Julio was born in Tokyo. In such a family, how much they must have been dissatisfied to have a daughter-in-law like me. 정말 저도 좋은 곳에서 엄청 많이 혼사가 들어왔지만 전부 다 아, 물리쳤거든요. 약사가 얼마나 제가 약사가 저하고 결혼을 하다가 아주 폐인까지 될 정도로 Actually, I also got many good marriage offers, but I refused them all. A pharmacist is a respectable job then as well. One pharmacist wanted to marry me so badly that it was ruined. Since I didn't receive fatherly love, I wanted to receive at least my father-in-law's love. So I married Julio since his father was alive. 그렇게 사랑을 해서 아버님이 치유되셨어도 그렇게 계속 무시하시고 하시니까 근데도 저는 계속 합니다 But he kept ignoring me even though I took good care of him with love until he recovered Yet I persevered in loving him 여러분 우리 끝까지 합시다 Dear ones, let us go all the way to the end 차버님 숭룡을 해가지고 아버님 드세요 그럼 I served him a bowl of scorched rice water Father, here you are. Please have some. Then he said, leave it and get out. Yes, Father. I never got upset at him. Why do you think I did that? Because I offered it up with Sam Chigo as if I was loved by him. When he first got better and could walk around, he needed a cane. So I would hand the cane over to him. Then he would snatch it and say, Go away! 네, 아버님. 그래도 내 몸밖에까지 따라가면서 아버님, 안녕히 가세요. 들어가! 네, 아버님. Then I answered, Yes, Father. I still followed him out to the gate. Father, please take care. Then he just said, Go inside. Yes, Father. 또 들어오시면 다녀오셨습니까? When he came back in, I greeted, Oh, did you have a good time? Go away! Then I said to myself, Okay, let me regard this with Sam Chigo as if I were loved. Dear all, practice Sam Chigo as if being loved. Even if your mother-in-law or your daughter-in-law do bad to you, if you practice Sam Chigo as if you were loved, the echo of love will surely come back to you. There are many conflicts and hatred between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. 
속에도 사랑받는 삶이고 정말 사랑으로 해보세요. 반드시 미아리가 돌아옵니다. Even if your mother-in-law or your daughter-in-law are bad to you, practice same c h i g o as if being loved and try to sincerely love them. Then it'll echo surely back to you. 제가 딸기 한명 있을 때 Even when I had terminal cancer, I took care of my 96-year-old grandmother-in-law, and I also carried her on my back. 아이들 데리고 살면서 밤만 해 들고도 너희 모시기 힘들다고 생각하잖아요. People might think it's hard to take care of the elderly while raising their children, even though they only make meals for them. 근데 여러분 할수 있다고 생각하면서 해보세요. 제가 But dear ones, try doing it, thinking that you can do it. I believe I could do it, so I brought her to my home to take care of. 안 Even when I had cancer, because Julia preferred fresh kimchi, I didn't make cabbage kimchi in bulk in winter. 더 in my case, I bought a lot of cabbages, wrapped them in newspapers, and placed them upside down. They kept fresh during the winter season. I don't know about how it's going on nowadays, but at that time it was so. The Lord might have done it for me. People said if the cabbages are kept like that, they would go bad. But in my case, they never went bad, but were preserved fresh as they were. So I could serve the fresh kimchi to Julio during whole winter till spring by dividing one cabbage into four pieces for each meal. The kimchi for breakfast was soaked in salt water the previous night, then I mixed it with all seasonings in the morning. 아침에 담가놨다가 낮에 들어 저녁에 잡을 것은 낮에 소금물에서 흘려 들었어요. The kimchi for lunch was soaked in the morning and at lunch I seasoned. For dinner it was soaked during the daytime and I served it to him for dinner. 아, 여러분 내 자랑이 아닙니다. 네 생활을 전하여 하셨기 때문에 전하는데 Dear all, I don't mean to brag about myself. Since Jesus told me, make your life known to others. I do so now. 이렇게 Even when everything seems impossible, we say I can do it. But if you do it out of duty, thinking, oh, I must do this work, there is no love in it, so it can be hard for you to make it. And never ever think, why is it like that, dear all? Rather, let us look at ourselves, thinking, oh, how about me? Many people think they have no problems, but often can't see themselves correctly. So while thinking, what might others think while looking at me, I may have those aspects too. 하면서 잘못한 사람들 이렇게 잘할 수 있도록 해준 것도 하나의 공덕이 되고 사랑입니다. 네. 우리가 사랑으로 가면 못할 것이 없어요. It is also a virtue and love to lead people who have done wrong to improve themselves. There's nothing we can't do if we do it with love. 네. 여러분 사랑받는 셈치고 살아봅시다. Dear all, let's live with 셈치고 as if we were loved. 계속 네. 나빠 때문에 가지고 고막도 다 나가버리고 I was slapped by my maternal uncle and my eardrum ruptured. I was terribly assaulted with scare bars by three men. My business partners had women attack me as a mob so as not to give me my share of the money. They threw me on a lump of iron and made me hit my head on the ground. 사랑받는 살기 때문에 저는 한 번도 원망해 본 적이 없어요. 사랑받 살기 때문이에요. I didn't know God at that time, but I've never resented others because in every occasion I have lived the life of Samchigo as if I was loved by them. 우리는 공동이 계속 보여 있으면 썩죠. 우리 계속 올라가야 됩니다. 
water would rot if it just stayed in the puddle, right? The water must keep flowing. Let's keep making efforts to be sanctified. Let's arm ourselves with the five spiritualities. The Blessed Mother speaks to you who have been called. My beloved children, my extremely beloved children, thank you for accepting my invitation. Now open your heart widely. And hurriedly enter the refuge of my burning immaculate heart, which have been prepared for you. As I will always be with you at your side, and help you as your mother who cares even in the little details. Open your hearts widely and achieve victory over the devil. Today, together with the Lord who has offered up all of Himself for you, I bless all of you with my encouragement, consolation, and love. Amen.